wake them up when the chips are down. The Cornhuskers will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Cornhuskers are looking at an uphill climb tonight, Dick. What are the keys to victory for them? Here are my keys for them, Brad. First, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. Second of all, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Lastly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Holland handles the pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for the foul. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! Gave it up. Low block. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He cleans the glass. Number 31 receives the pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Down inside, the center handles the feed. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They go into the low block. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Terrible execution on offense. The small forward receives the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He tries the three. He drains the shot. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. He fires it up. Nice shot. Trying to feed the low block. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The dribble gives it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way off target. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Ball moved back outside from down low. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one man show. The other players need to step up. Trying to feed the low block. He intercepts it. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Tries a three. Nebraska have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here.
This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Stolen. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The skip pass is picked off. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Are we looking at after that time out there? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. They work it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Here they go, into the break. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. My goodness, seems like it's a track meet up there. You've got to be in superb condition to play this tempo, Brad. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Mitchell is feeling great out there right now. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. They still don't score. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Here's a double team. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Ball comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Show me that one again. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Goes in. Oh. 
Looking for a screen on top and got it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. There's the trap. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He has a chance to cash him in. Hits the first shot. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon. NBA. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Gave it up. Picked off. For me, home court advantage means knowledge of your surroundings, extra inspiration from your friends and family in the stands, and sometimes, just sometimes, that hometown call from the official. Would you agree with that, Dick? Crowds give the home team a boost and sometimes force the opposition into a few turnovers and missed shots. A passionate home crowd should make a big difference. Way off target. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. With a bucket. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Dick, he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Mitchell draws the perp. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. They scored nine in a row. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Fast break possibility coming. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. the floor entry pass in the paint there's a double team waiting there for two perfectly executed strips the ball Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Off the rim and no good. Gotta take some pride on a defensive end. Stolen away. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. They work the perimeter. Got an open look if he wants it. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Up and inside. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Mitchell goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. Let's go to the instant replay camera. Ball movement, get that good spacing. Moving it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. And they get the turnover. Got a wide open look. He shows the sweet touch. From the top of the circle, misses from long range. Stolen away. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gonna move it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. Way off target. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Buckeyes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Steals a pass. And a slam. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Bucket. 
Great play to take that to the basket. That's basic. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great shot. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I'll tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. On the dribble, gives it up, gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Holland, pump fakes. Ten on the shot clock. He gets the board. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. There's the fake, and he'll kick it back outside. Fakes the shot. From left of the circle, got it. And that one's definitely worth the second look, Brad. Dribble gives it up, picks off the lazy pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. For two, perfectly executed. These teams are looking at the second half to decide the outcome of this ball game. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Nebraska found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestler. <laughs> 
Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Gave it up. He launches a three. He nails the bucket. Here's one for the highlight reel. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Turnaround jumper, and off the mark. The ball goes out of bounds. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the baseline. Sinks it. And they're working around the arc. He puts up the three ball. Way off target. Jumps into the defender. Watch your head, young fella. Working it around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the deep swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He gets the bucket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, he has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Ohio State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the dribble, gives it up. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under the move, and he does it exceptionally well. Number 44 with the foul. Second personal foul. Dumps it in. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. Fast break opportunity here. Tries to get the D to bite. Fakes a jumper. 
There's the pick. There's the roll. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Looking for a good shot. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Gave it up in the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? Ohio State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. High post flasher is open. They work it around the perimeter. From right in the circle, he drains the bucket. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He gets it to fall. Dump it inside. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. It sticks. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Picked out of the air. Working it around the perimeter. Three. Oh, yes. Almost lost the basketball. Now, the layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop knowing he was going to get fouled. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Count it. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. 
on the dribble gives it up pass down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. But he missed the shot. Oh, Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Up fake. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Length of the floor. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Buried it. Wow. Big Ten Conference usually has some really competitive teams, Dick. It's no secret, Brad. This conference is known for their bruising style of play. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. The shooting guard take and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. <laughs> Gave it up. From right at the circle, scorches the net. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. <laughs> Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. <laughs> he unloads a three. He nails the shot. The Buckeyes are trailing by 10. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They are hitting some great shots. Not a whole lot you can do on defense when they're hitting good shots. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Look at that spacing. He puts it up. He's money with the shot. Yeah. 
Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. They work the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball. away the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate too, partner. They're playing some great basketball at the moment. Gets the first. Nebraska have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. It's two at the charity strike. Dump it inside. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. The man is off the charts, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. out of play. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. High post flashes. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He gets it to go. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Obvious foul. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. He sinks both of them. Pressure that basketball. Unloads a three. There was no doubt about that one. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gave it up. Looks at a three. Tickles a twine. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Pump fakes. Goes up for two. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Perfectly executed. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Let's it fly. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Picked off. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots it. The Cornhuskers have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Put a show on, man. Great ball handling skills. He's open if he wants the shot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. about ready for play to resume. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. They've left them completely alone. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Working around the perimeter. He tries the three. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. They work it around the perimeter. State Farm drive of the game. Oh, Mr. Nussler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Defense giving some room. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beat him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. <laughs> Ten seconds on the shot clock. Can't get a shot off in time, Dick. They couldn't get a shot off because they wasted too much time getting set up. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. 
Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball, and I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Nebraska wins with a gaping margin of victory tonight. This has got to go down in the books as one of the biggest victories in school history. They'll be talking about this one for years. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.